The former mayor of Stockton has gained national attention for his remarkable life story, and he's now put that story to paper. Karma is chatting with Michael Tubbs this morning as his memoir hits bookshelves. Karma. Yes, so many of us know at least parts of this story. We know that at the age of 26, Michael Tubbs became the youngest mayor of any major city in American history. And now he's sharing his story in his memoir entitled the deeper the roots. And so he's joining us live this morning from New York, actually, as you're launching that book tour first, I got to give you a major congratulations. How are you feeling? It is surreal. And I think particularly because literally a year ago to this day, there were all these eulogies about me and what was next because I had just lost reelection. So literally a year to the date to have a book out in the world. Um, with Oprah launching the book tour, it is such a blessing, and I'm just so incredibly thankful. And that is one thing I did want to ask, because so many people have been looking to you for what's next, so people have been eagerly are waiting to hear you speak on that. And so, but first I do have to tell you my very first impression when I heard you were coming out with a memoir. I said, isn't he about 31? What Memoir? Come on. Well, a memoir by definition is about a particular instance or a particular place in time. And I think growing up, there's so many memoirs like Black Boy like by Richard Wright, Man Child in the Promised Land that really focus on the authors like adolescence and their transition to adulthood. So I figured I could talk about that and talk about the experience that no one else has ever had, the, that being a 26-year-old mayor of a major city and also being the first Black mayor of, of a beautiful place, but a place that still struggles with racism like other places in this country. So I figured while my memory is still very clear and while I have a very clear um, point of view, it's important to write that on paper, not just for the next generation, but for my children in particular and also for me as I get older. And so many things stuck out to me. I kind of half listened and half read because I had the audible version and had the free copy. You know, that's how I get things done these days. But um, you lay out your trajectory from Stockton to Stanford and back to Stockton and how you made it. And one thing that you said that really stuck with me is that when you were on the Youth City Advisory Commission, you basically realized politicians were nothing special. These, you know, these people that we put up on a pedestal who are making these decisions about our lives. Wh like, why not you? And I loved that. Talk to us about that. It was so eye-opening. So again, being born in poverty, you have this idea that authority is because someone's smarter or they have some special something. And as a 15, 16 year old running youth advisory commission meetings, meeting with the mayor and the city council at the time, I realized they were great people, but they weren't better people than the people at my church or they weren't smarter than my family. And that's when I realized that, that folks like me needed to be at the policy making table, needed to be part of governance because we also matter, our experiences matter. We have a perspective and an ability to do the job. So since then, I've always had an eye for sort of being in a room where it happens and understanding that just because you look different or just because you come from a different background doesn't mean you're any less deserving. And that's sort of one of the themes the book explores. Okay, last thing, because we only have about 15 seconds left. What is next? So, so many people want to know, are you running for office again? I promise you, I'm not running for office in the next couple of years at least. I am so happy being with my family, I'm so happy. I, but I'm doing politics, I work with the governor. I got 60 mayors doing guaranteed income. <laughs> I have a book coming out. I am happy with where I am, and I'm so thankful for the chance to serve in office the last eight years. All right, thank you so much, former Mayor of Stockton, Michael Tubbs, your memoir drops today. And guys, we should tell you that coming up at 11, we are going to be talking with Michael Tubbs once again, and we're gonna get a little bit more into the policy because as he alluded to there, he's focused a lot on issues of poverty. Universal basic income has been a huge one, and it's part of the national conversation at this point being adopted in cities across the country. We're gonna find out about the work in that space. All right, let's take a look at weather.